Hello, this is Steven Troser, agronomist for Channel in the state of Missouri. Uh, today I get the opportunity to work with some, some great growers uh, to walk some fields down the boot hill of Missouri. Uh, our concern here is uh, over the last two to three weeks, we've had an accumulation of anywhere from eight to 13 inches of rain. Uh, so we've got some corn that's actually in about the V2, V3 stage, uh, maybe even a little bit bigger than that. It's been under water for a period of time. Uh, so as we go assess those corn plants and those stands, uh, we'll go see what we look like. What we're assessing for is to make sure that mesocotyl is actually still white in color, uh, as well as to make sure the growing point is still intact uh, and has good color and is not, is not dead. So uh, we'll work with the growers to, to assess the plants to make sure that we don't have any problems for long-term growth. The field we're going to look at was under water for a period of time. Um, this was a uh, you can see there's quite a bit of residue left here, and this is because this field that we're going to look at particularly is, is a pretty sandy field. And we'll get a chance to look at how sandy that was before. But as you can see, there's still water standing in spots. Uh, that whole water was standing all the way over the road at, some, at one point. Again, there's some more water right on the edge. But we've got a pretty good stand. Uh, but part, of it, part of the help here is, is how sandy that soil is, as you can see. Um, we got the water off of that plant when we needed to uh, eventually, but even the plants that were underwater, uh, we can see the, the plant, uh, the root, uh, is all still well intact. But again, uh, it's almost like playing in a sandbox, how sandy that soil is uh, around that plant. The other thing we see here too is, um, again, this is, this is a closer picture of, of the nice stand we've got and what size the corn is. And again, right here in this stand, um, you can see there's been a there's some residue here to try to try to hold back any wind or sandblasting that might occur uh, from from how sandy that soil is. Uh, what's interesting to me is as you can see the residue's been moved around where the water has pushed it around, and we actually have stands up in the residue. So uh, pretty tough corn, pretty interesting stuff. Uh, the other thing noticed too is as we stage this corn. Uh, we've got, uh, it's a V3 corn, or three collars, uh, as you can see from the plant here. Uh, the other thing that we looked for was, is if we look at that mesocotyl, that, that area between the seed and actually the base of the crown of the plant, uh, still a white in color, so we don't have to worry about any uh, pythium or, or seedling rots going on because we have a, a nice white uh, mesocotyl on this plant. Um, so a couple more pictures, a pretty good stand even where the water's standing. 